Good morning, everybody. This is Danny, the Wicked Awesome Gardener, coming at you from the Wicked Awesome Grow Room. This video is a little bit late, and I apologize, but today we're going to get the results from our lavender germination. Yes, it has been two weeks since we planted that lavender, plus a few days. We got a little distracted with getting the beds ready and all of that, but we've got the results of our cold stratified versus straight out of the packet lavender sewing. First, I'm gonna show you a short clip that I took about 10 days after sewing, so you can see just when things were starting to pop up above the soil and we could barely see what was coming up. And I think the results are going to speak for themselves. Let's take a look. Okay, so here we are in the grow room. It has been 10 days since I planted the lavender. Let's see what's going on in the grow room. Look at all that basil. That is beautiful. Time to put those in their own pots and get them ready for sale. The sage, gorgeous, also very ready for transplant. Eggplant, looking great. They're getting their second set of leaves and it's about time to set those up in pots. And now let's check out the lavender. So let's start with this tray and see if there's any germination. Nothing so far. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Right there in front of my finger. If you can see that right there. There is still a seed on there. The leaves will pop that off in due time. But I think that's it. Just one from this six cell tray. Now let's check out the other side. Oh. So it looks a lot more green in real life than it does on the video, but right in the center there, there's a lavender popping up. Uh, nothing over there. Nothing over there. Don't see anything yet. Oh, what is that? That's nothing. <laughs> oh, but then what do we have here? One, two, three, and is that maybe four right there? Oh, and five. There's definitely a lot happening over this side of the tray. Now let's figure out, so we have one here, but we have at least six going on over here. Seven, seven, seven going on here. One in the other one. Let's check out which is which. Cold stratified lavender. Seven to one difference in the germination rate in just 10 days. We're going to keep an eye on this, see how they grow, see what else we get from both sides. But that's a pretty interesting difference. And it's really showing you just how much that cold stratification can make a difference in your success in growing lavender. So we will start here with the non-cold stratified lavender. And there we have one two, three, four, five, six. Oh, hey, that's a new one. Hello, little baby lavender. And that is our not cold stratified lavender. But then with the cold stratified, not only did we get a higher germination rate, but they also germinated faster and many of these are already getting their second set of true leaves. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, plus a bonus that I discovered this morning. I don't know how well you can see that, but there are three more in this bottom cell. 
And there you go, more than double the germination rate by cold stratifying them in the refrigerator for just a few weeks before planting. So that shows how a little preparation goes a long way to helping your success with growing lavender. Thanks for coming along on this early morning video and you have a great day. Make sure to make it awesome. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, please click here for more content. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date on our latest videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really excited to go through this journey with you while we grow something wicked awesome from yard to table.